Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Realm of Magic Let's Play. And it has started snowing in Glimmerbrook. I started in fall on purpose because, you know, we're basically in fall. Spooky times, am I right? And so I thought it'd be appropriate. And we have our first snow in Glimmerbrook, so that's exciting. Oh, what's that? Ooh. But yeah, it is snowing here. Everyone is still asleep except for Cleese. She is out here eating some cauldron mac and cheese in her cutie little winter attire. And today we're going to go back into the magic realm. We're going to get some tomes. We're going to like learn some spells and stuff. Probably purchase like familiar stuff and like probably maybe some broomsticks and some wands and whatnot. So we're going to get going on that and that's going to be a fun time. I just read the description of this book and it says Wands of Desire. Julie has always been cold when it comes to showing her feelings, but can a dashing older spellcaster melt her heart? Magic is in the air in the first novel of this 43 volume romantic series. What? Is that like a play on one of those, like, those smutty books? Because, like, if that's so, that's so fitting that Eccles is reading that because her, my friend in real life, loves those books. Or she did, she read them a lot back when we were in high school and stuff. So, like, that's just very fitting. It's very comical to me. If you're hangry, don't eat that crappy fruitcake. Why don't you go have some of the nice cauldron mac and cheese? There's plenty to go around. Briars is not having it today. Why don't you play a game on your phone, Eccles? You can do that with a slice of life, I think. Let's see. Sest of life. Apps. Play game. See, you're mad from eating the fruitcake. I told you that was going to happen. Oh, she wants to pet a cat. And she wants to cloud gaze with Laurel. Oh, that's cute. Let's see. We don't have a popcorn maker, so we ain't going to do that. What does she want to do? Rake leaves. I mean, okay. I mean, Eccles' fun isn't doing too hot. Neither is her social, even though she's been talking to people all day. Maybe you should just go play on the computer or something. Go play Sims Forever. We don't have a TV here, so... Then need a thing that we can do. I probably should have incorporated a second bathroom into this house because, like, we only have one and they all have to use the bathroom at the same time, I guess. I just didn't want to bother building another bathroom. I guess I could probably, like, cut it off right there and make one, but, like, who, ain't, who got time for that? Not me. Why is everybody- Clean up your dishes, you filthies. Oh, this is another outfit that I gave uh, a cleese. It's a casual outfit. It's also a top that came with Rumble Magic. And then the jeans are custom content, and the boots are base game, I think, actually. But, like, this is very- I think this is something that she'd actually wear in real life, so this is really cool. And here comes Laurel in her cutie little PJs. Don't eat cake right now. You gotta go shower. You're filthy. See, now she's reading a book. What is that called? Famous spellcasters throughout history. I want to read the description of it. Let's see. The history of spellcasting is long and extensive. In this 4,000-page volume, every feat completed and spellcasted in the last 200 and... Oh, it doesn't matter. No one is going to read this book. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. Oh, you should go downstairs and go plant your uh, your boys. Your mandrakes. So we'll do the valerian root in this one. And then we'll do the mandrakes in this one. Go plant them. Oh, she's too upset. You know what? We're just gonna... Oh, look. She's happy again. <laughs> It's too cold to plant. It's a basement. What? But isn't it like a greenhouse? Do I need like a thermometer or something? Don't do this to me. I'm going to be really mad. I spent so long building this. <laughs> there. There's a thermostat. Turn it on. Set it to warmer, please. I just want to plant my boys. I still can't plant them. Why is this a thing? This has never been a thing. Um, I'm not happy about this. But it's- they're in a greenhouse. Can I do it upstairs? If I can do it upstairs, I'm gonna be mad. Cause that don't make no sense. Can't do it up there either. What is the dealio? I cut the mac and cheese in this cauldron and it stays good forever. Like, it's magic mac and cheese. I wonder if the plant thing is like a bug. I'm gonna try to build another greenhouse, like, over here. That's like a little boy. Just to see if it's like, if it's me or if it's actually like, it's a bug or something. Nope, it still says too cold to plant. Why is that the, why is that a thing? Can we plant the root? No. It has to be like a, a a glitch or something because I thought you could plant whatever whatever plants whenever indoors it doesn't matter what season it is 
Do they have to be like a seasoned uh, witch lady to plant them? I don't know. We'll find out. So let's test out our crystals here. Like, can we like travel to the magic world? <gasps> Ooh, that's cool. Okay. Oh, he has his broom. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, where'd they go? Wait. Can you see him? Well, Cleese is gonna go to the magic alley. The caster's alley, is that what it's called? She wants to discuss some stuff with people. She wants to talk. By wands, tomes, and familiars, please. Oh, look at the little star one. That's so cute. I think I'm gonna give um, Eccles the bone wand. We'll give Briar the ancient wood wand, and then Laurel can just have the, the basic wood wand. And let's see. The butterfly. That sounds cute. Ooh, Raven. Teaches the reader a spell to convince two sims to argue and fight with each other. That's awesome. What's this one? Teaches the reader a potion to fulfill all a sim's needs. Ooh, that's a cool one. Let's get that boy. And look at the a familiar orb of the raven. And the butterfly. I'm kind of holding out because I want, like, I want to get the dragon one. I feel like Briar would really dig the raven one. Buy brooms and crystals. Ooh, a magic mop. I love that. Let's see. Gnarled wood broom. Carved from the ancient trees of the magic realm. The gnarled broom has a natural form, twisting and turning. Hopefully it doesn't fly the way it looks. Oh, uh, let's get the, the gnarled wood broom then. Is this a shinoi? Is that a new one? Ooh. I think it's good for now. And then... That's not one. I wish that was one. What's this one? It must be like a brewing stand or something. Thank you for shopping at Brooms, Bobbles, and Beyond. Check back tomorrow as our daily offerings are always changing. The items that Cleese bought can be found in her inventory. Ooh, okay. Is there anything else we can do here? Let me get the fountain. Oh, I love the crystals and the rocks here. Yeah, I wish you could like live in one of these little houses. That'd be really cool. What if they were like witch apartments? That'd be really cool. I mean, you'd have to like... You'd have to have city li living to have realm of magic, so that would kind of suck. But it'd be cool if you could make this like an option to be an apartment. There we go. She's socializing. <laughs> Duel for knowledge? <gasps> Let's do it. Ooh. <gasps> oh, what? That's crazy. <gasps> what? Oh my god. She's got her booty kicked. I mean, Johnny, this kind of looks like a snack in this like this new stuff here. A Cleese Moonchild got the curse of the duelist from losing too many duels? Wait, hold hold up. The curse of the duelist. Be prepared to get into more duels. It's going to be a lot harder to win and rewards won't be as good? Wait, that's not fair. She's a beginner. Man, I'm mad. Johnny Zest. I, never, I hope I never see you again. Agony and defeat. Being defeated in a magic duel is one of the most frustrating things for any spellcaster. Keep practicing magic to have a better chance at winning duels. Okay. My potion ingredients. Hello. This will be really cool for uh, Briar's character. Oh, perk purging? It's kind of cool. Let's just buy all this stuff. So you can fish and the fish are ingredients. Whoa, death flower is really expensive. We don't need that. Let's have a friendly duel with Miko. Thanks for shopping at Questionable Quacks Emporium. Check back tomorrow as our daily offerings are always changing. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, hey, that's a really cool touch. All the things are floating. Oh, that's cool. I really wish you could, like, actually go into these houses. It's kind of a bummer. Come on, girl, you can do it. It's a friendly duel. You can do it. It looks like they're evenly matched so far. Ooh. Man, come on, you can do it. Oh, they can duel for fun. Like, it brings up the fun up. No, no, oh, come on. A Cleese sucks at dueling. We're gonna have a Cleese go home, have some cauldron mac and cheese, and then give everybody all the stuff that she got today. Wait, hold up, can she take her broom home? Set Gnarl Wood Broom as favorite broom. And then set a bone wand as favorite wand. And then always use wands. There we go. 
All right, well, she got a P, so go do that. Can we go do our thing yet? Can we... Uh, can we, like, plant anything else? Is it just those, like, witchy ingredients that you can't plant? Or we'll give all of this, the uh, plant stuff to... All the potion stuff to Rose. Or, sorry, <laughs> Briar. Her name is Rose in real life, so... Well, and once she's done doing that, we can... I'm gonna have her study the tome of the plentiful needs. So that'll be cool. And then I need you to go downstairs to the basement and try and see if you can plant these other things. Probably not the the cherries, because like obviously you can't grow the tree downstairs. See, it's too cold for that too. Why is this why? Why do you do this? I don't understand. It's gotta be a glitch of some sort. So the raven says bind familiar. Can I can I do that right now? Ooh, the Harbingers of Prophecy and some say bad luck. Ravens are an ancient creature that remain steadfast alongside their favorite spellcasters. Ooh. I'm going to name this crow after my friend's cat. Lilu. <laughs> so did we do it? Where is... Where is it? Do I have to cast it? Magic. Familiars. Summon familiar. Okay, let's do it. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, she go. She gonna do it? Ribbon bus. <gasps> oh, it's so cute. I love it. What other magic things can we do? Practice magic. Practice practical magic. M Batu Ka. This is so cool. What does that say? Active familiar. Briar's familiar fills her with confidence. Familiars make your magic more potent and offer a protection from death that is still not fully understood. Ooh, that's cool. Ooh, that was so cute. Wabbit. Oh my god. I don't even know what to name mine. Okay, I'm gonna name my bunny familiar Bigwig. Because, like, a lot of people probably won't get this, but there's a movie that's called Watership Down, and it's like a kid's movie, but it's notoriously, like, like gore. Kind of, like, not gory, but, like, it's very violent. Very violent for a ch children's movie. Because it has, like, these rabbits, like, fighting each other to the death. And there's, like, blood in it and stuff. And one of the coolest characters in that movie is Bigwig. And he's, like, a like a bigger bunny who's just, like, super, like, strong. And it's just, like, you know, like, kind of like the leader, you know? So, I'm gonna name my familiar Bigwig. Now let's summon Bigwig and see what he looks like. Source hum, boss. <gasps> Oh my god, he's so cute! Oh my god, look at him! I'm crying. Look how cute it is! The little wings! Oh, I'm crying. Oh, why don't you practice some magic too while you're at it? Um, practice magic. Practice mischief magic. And then she's still reading her tome, so. She good. Laurel has discovered a new spell, the Sparrow. What? Oh, neat. Show me your new spell. What is Despero? Phyllis sims mine with feelings of intense sadness. Oh, I don't like that. That is so sad. I don't want to show you my new spell because it's going to make my friends sad. No. How do you even use spells? You just click on the sim? Magic. Yeah, Despero. Oh, it's so sad. I mean, that's going to come in handy for, you know. Maybe I should have had... Well, we, can, we can learn all the things. I th I'm learning that... I hear you've been building your magical prowess. <laughs> Would you like to put it to the test and duel me at the dueling grounds? <gasps> yeah, let's do it. But I think that you can learn all three of the magic. I was, like, under the impression that you can only, like, for some, for a minute there, I thought you could only learn, like, one magic. Like, your sim can only ra practice practical magic or mischief magic or untamed. But it looks like you, you can do all of them. So that's really cool. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna go ahead and end the part right here. It's a little bit of a cliffhanger. In the next episode, we're gonna see Briar duel some rando that, like, messaged her. So that's gonna be really cool. And we're gonna keep practicing our magic. I want to go back to the the casting alley, is that what it's called? To get Aklis's familiar. So that'll be really cool. So they all have their familiars. They'll start dueling some more, and then we'll get the show on the road. Well, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed playing it and recording it, as always. If you like what you saw, go ahead and leave a like, comment, or subscribe. I'm trying to post videos at least twice a week, and I'll see everyone in the next one. Bye.